Hi Aries, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, and moon signs. And if this reading resonates for you, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who's liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on youtube as well and accepting personal readings so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below all right aries the overall energy of your reading is the queen of cups the eight of cups The judgment card the knight of swords the star card the king of pentacles and then the full card all right So you're the one who's asking if you should be charging in. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Five of Swords. So there's a little pessimism here that I'm getting. You feel that this person you want to be with or you're interested in is taken. All right, by by the by a king of pentacles, male or female. It's not really a gender specific reading. We're looking at the energies. One thing is for sure, Aries. Whether or not you you think that this is someone you're the person you're interested in or you're falling in love with is with someone or is also dating another is dating another person what is meant for you will never pass you by all right will never ever pass you by so if this person was meant for you this queen of cups male or female again it's not really gender <clears throat> it's not really gender specific reading we're looking at the energies but what is meant for you will never pass you by all right so stop the stinking thinking. It's not good for you. It's not good for your mental health. And it's not good for attracting the things that, the things, the people that you want in your life. The Queen of Cups as the overall energy of your reading. You're interested in this person. You, you, you find them alluring, attractive, mysterious. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Take it how it resonates. Or a Cancerian. This is either a Piscean or a Cancerian. Take it how it resonates. Or you have those placements. But this person, you see them, you know that they know their self-worth. They, they have a high sense of self and it's not, that's not a bad thing. They know their worth. They know what they deserve. This is someone who is very connected with themselves and they know themselves. And this is someone who is very loving. Or maybe you feel that they're very loving. Alright, this is someone who's gone through a lot of healing. That's why they know how to love themselves. And they know what, or what they are worth or what they deserve. Eight of Cups and then the Star card. You've walked away from a situation that no longer serves you. It took you a while, for some of you, eight months, to really walk away fully, to end that cycle, to end that previous connection. You had to go through serious healing, Capricorn. I'm sorry. You had to go through serious healing, Aries. I just did the Capricorn reading. Forgive me. 
And then after you did your serious healing, after you've gone through that, you wished and asked the universe, please send me someone who I can love and who will love me for who I am. And I can love for who they really are. My intentions are clear, universe. You know what my heart really desires. Please bring me the one for me. The Judgment card and then the King of Pentacles. There are two energies here. You feel like, of course, this person, this Queen of Cups, has their call. Whether or not they let you into their life. You've achieved a tremendous level of stability. I'm getting Aries. You've achieved a tremendous level of stability. I'm also getting, as I mentioned earlier, there's still a judgment whether or not they let you into their life. They entertain you. They entertain you. Why? Because there is also a king of pentacles that is just within their life or just trying to get in into their life as well this is someone who's very stable and secure a little bit older than both of you that's what i'm getting and for some if you ever meet this person you will get that that energy of them being a lone wolf the knight of swords here and then the fool card this is you you could have an air placement somewhere aries take it how it resonates but with the fool card you're well you're willing you're willing <laughs> i'm sorry you're willing to take that risk for this person you're willing to run towards them and express how you really feel i'm getting you're someone who's very vocal with your feelings if you're interested in someone you talk to them you ask so many questions you're not afraid to jump if this person decides to jump with you you could be younger than this queen of cups take it how it resonates because of the fool card This is an amazing new beginning for you, Aries. This person inspires you. Inspires you a lot. All right. Let's see the outcome of your reading. You have the Six of Cups, the Chariot card. And then the Six of Wands. Number six is showing up a lot. All right, the Six of Cups, the Chariot card, and then the Six of Wands. There is victory here. Wherever you're going, whatever direction you're headed for with this connection, there is victory. Whether you decide to move forward with them or ask them out or just maybe have coffee with them there is there's gonna be successful results six of cups here do they feel like they do do you when you ha, 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 when you talk to this person does it feel familiar to you do they feel like you've known them for quite some time because you could be talking to your soulmate you could this could be your soulmate all right the moon card as advice for you don't fear don't be scared don't be afraid the universe always has your back trust your intuition it will never lead you astray but a 
I'm getting the universe is in is in your favor, is on your side. I'm sorry. Other messages for Aries, please. Wow, the sun. All right. You have the sun. Find a balance. And then dark moon. Pause and rest. You deserve it. Dark moon. What is something you want to tell your person or you will experience from this person that you eventually want to express to them that they make you feel this way? The sound of your laughter is like a drug to me. Amazing. That is all I have for you, Aries. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.